Area reference is a four-digit coordinate system geographers use to locate something on a map or to give someone a location on a map. Now it's four digits because on topographic maps they use, uh, even when they have a single digit such as 7, 8 and 9, it's always labelled 0, 07, 0, 08, 0, 09 and same on the um, side axes here. Right, that's why it's always going to be four digits to begin with when you give area reference. Now, let's do our first um, locating. Now, on this particular thing, it's telling the reader, go to AR, which is area reference. So it's basically saying we want the whole area, the whole grid square. Um, 1311. Something is in 1311. All right, let's have a look at this first issue. Now we've got 1311 there and 1311 here. So let's have a look. You can go to 13 here and then 11 there, or you can go to 13 down the bottom here and 11 up here. Now, which one do we use? Well, it's like in maths. So the cartographers or map makers use mathematic principles. When plotting in maths, you know, let's have a look. There's your little xy coordinates. You often use the x axes and then you plot the y axes and same here but what we're going to remember is we're going to remember to go across the hall to 13 then up the stairs to 11 and that tells us that this one is the most correct one so just remember that across the hall okay across the hall then up the stairs. Okay, so that's how we're going to remember our uh, doing coordinates in geography. Alright, so let's have a look at that then. Now, as you can see, we've got up and down lines and we've got across lines. And as you can see, um, down the bottom is 070809. All that line is 0, 09, and that next one is 0, uh, is 10. Uh, you know, is basically that coordinate. Now, have a look what direction these numbers are going up towards. They are moving up towards the east. Because they're moving up towards the east, they are known as eastings. Now, let's be logical. Let's have a look at the um, across lines, the horizontal lines. Now what direction are those numbers going up towards? That's right, they're moving up towards the north. So therefore, they are called northings. All right. So that's another thing you need to know about area reference and grid reference. Let's move to our next problem. There's Mr. Smiley on the side there and he's going to go for a walk. All right, and there we go. And he's ended up in the car park. Now, he's ended up in trouble, and he's going to call in the rescue helicopter pilot to come pick him up because he's in deep trouble. Now, we've got a problem here. As you can see, Mr. Smiley's on a C. He landed on the letter C there. If you looked at our legend, that would stand for car park. But there's a car park up there. We need to tell the helicopter pilot when he looks at the map, or she looks at the map, what um, which area... Car, uh, which car park they are in in a particular area on the map. So let's let's see what we do. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write area reference because we only know, that way we're letting the helicopter pilot. We're only going to give them four numbers. Let's have a look. So we're going to go across the hall first. Okay, so there's that square we're after. We're going to go across the hall first, and we're going to land on ten. Okay. And then we're going to go up the stairs to 11. Now we label that bottom corner labels that whole square because look, it creates a little plot graph that you do in math. See the little axes just there. So the answer to that, to tell the helicopter pilot how to get there, is you tell them to go to AR area reference 10 11. And that's how easy area reference is. Next we'll look at grid reference.